What's going on, everybody? This is Mark, Club Guinea Pig. Your Club Guinea Pig. Oh, man. Part of the part of the joy I get out of being a guinea pig is uh, failing miserably at things. So, so that um, I can, uh, I guess, take away some of the fright from everybody else. So, uh... I mean, I don't pass. I don't. I haven't passed any of my exams that I've taken. If you watch any of my other videos, um, I go into these exams blind. I don't study for them. I go in blind because I don't consider myself a very book smart uh, scholar. So um, I figure I go in and I just, you know, I I uh, be your guinea pig. You know, I go in. I do my best. I do my absolute best on the exam. And then um, I take my score and I show you guys. And um, the goal is to basically show you that if if I can go in the exam and um, I'm averaging a, a 35, between a 35 and 40 on a lot of these exams. But if I can go into these exams without studying and, um, you know, 15, 10, 15 questions away from a passing score, uh, then you guys, if you guys study and you guys put in some effort and buckle down, then I know you guys can go into these exams and pass with flying color. All right. So um, you want to know about the algebra, algebra exam? Well, I will tell you this. It was freaking hard. <laughs> Partly because I'm not good at, I'm like... Math was like my worst subject. And I mean, I haven't taken an algebra test since I was in high school. And I've been out of high school almost 10 years. So, um, this test was hard. I'm going to just tell y'all straight up. I mean, you'll come across a lot of like training videos and, you know, people like, oh, I have an algebra study guide for you. But I'm going to tell you like this. If you don't have a strong, matter of fact, disclaimer, and this is just, I'm just being honest, guys. If you don't have a strong or a a a decent foundation in algebra, I don't recommend taking this exam. And I say that because it's not one you can wing. It's either you know it or you don't know it, and that's that. Uh, algebra, 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 and mathematic concepts are not are not things you can go. Hmm. Uh, let me try and nah. You definitely need a refresher, um, and it's, I don't recommend you going into this exam and just and just trying to wing it. Now, if you have a, a decent um, foundation in algebra and you and you think you're pretty strong at algebra, then by all means, like go in and and and, and knock this exam out. Um, I think you can pass it if you have a strong foundation. If you have a strong foundation, if you have a decent foundation, like you're like, eh, I'm pretty good at algebra, but I'm not all that confident. Well, hopefully after watching this video, your confidence will grow. One thing I will tell you that I didn't like about the exam was that the freaking exam was, my exam was 58 questions and I had to get a 50 out of 58 to pass. Uh, I didn't like that shit. <laughs> So just keep that in mind. I think algebra is like one of the the, the exams with the few, the least amount of questions compared to the other ones. Um, and matter of fact, in my uh, let me see if it's in my club book. Uh, it doesn't say. Hmm, I'm probably I'm probably looking right over it too. It usually says like how many. Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, so approximately 60 questions to be answered in 90 minutes so yeah so you gotta um you have to you have to score pretty high on this exam i guess this this subject is not one that they they want people to get over on easily which i guess is understandable i mean math isn't well i don't know man i don't know how often we're going to use algebra in life but anyway i digress so Let's get right to it, guys. Um, out of out of fifty, that was the score I needed to pass. Um, here we go. I'm just gonna show you guys. All right. Um, um, 
that's my score. And this is what I needed. So, hopefully, I mean, I did my best. Like, I did my absolute best. I was really digging deep down in my brain to try and remember things. And I, I did what I could, man. I did my best. But keep in mind, like I just told you guys, I do, I'm not strong in algebra at all. I, I'm not strong in a lot of things, okay? I've been out of high school almost 10 years, guys. Just remember that. And I went in there and I did my absolute best and I got a 25, all right? So that means... I missed 38 questions. I missed 38 questions, all right? And I got a 25, okay? For you guys out there with strong foundations in algebra and with good foundations in algebra, um, I hope you take this and, and, you, and you can look at it and go, wow, if this guy who fucking sucks at everything goes in and gets pulls off a 25, you know, um, I myself, I actually know this shit. I know I can go in here and that's the goal. That's what I want you to, to get. So now, um, for you people who haven't watched any of my other videos, go back and watch some of my other videos because I think there's a lot of um, valuable information in those videos that you can use as well as this one. It's going to be some very valuable information because even though I may not be the most scholarly person, the, the heavens above have blessed me with a semi-photographic memory. <laughs> I'm pretty good. I have a pretty good memory. Um, so right after my exam, I go and I take notes. All right, I take notes. Literally, as soon as I step out of the door, I go sit in the freaking corner. I pull out my notepad and I take notes. So I've taken a lot of notes uh, for this particular exam. But I'm not going to go through every single... I'm not going to go through all of my notes, but I'm going to give you like key things that were on the exam, all right, um, that you guys might find uh, useful just to know what's ahead. You get what I'm saying? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read out of my clipbook, um, and, and these guys, this uh, information, this breakdown by percentage is actually on the CLEP website. Um, I, don't, I don't know exactly where it is. I probably should have a link for you guys, um, but uh, you can just listen to me. And I'm going to break it down for you. So, according to the college board, 25% um, of this exam is on algebraic concepts and operations. So, um, exponents, uh, factoring and expanding polynomials, excuse me, operations with uh, algebraic expressions, absolute value, um, and uh, properties of logarithms. Uh, Y'all remember those, right? Like log and, you know, there was a lot of those questions on the exam too. So definitely uh, go, back and go back and brush up on that. That's 25% of the exam. Don't spend all of your time on that though because it's a small chunk of the exam, all right? Um, but brush up on it for sure, right? Uh, now another 25% is equations and um, inequalities. So we're talking linear equations, um, quadratic equations, absolute value equations, system of equations and inequalities, exponential and logarithmic equations. So there's that word again, um, logarithmic. And then a big part of the ex uh, exam, and um, I can I can honestly say this is pretty accurate because there were a lot of questions. Uh, in regards to functions um, and uh, the property to, of the, the function. So like the definition, interpretation, uh, representation. Um, you did have, there were problems where you have to graph uh, and uh, figure out. And then so a lot of these exams, like if you answer one question, then there's like follow up questions to that. So like, for example, for like the graph, um, where they ask you to, They'll ask you, show you something like this, right? This guy right here, right? And they'll ask you the point of uh, negative, what is that? Negative A and uh, B, right? Again, I'm not, I, I'm not strong in algebra, guys. So hopefully you guys can look at that and know what I'm talking about. 
All right. Um, but like there were like a lot of questions like that where you had to, you know, do the points. The I, man, is that the um, what is that? The um, definition, interp interpretation, representation, modeling, graphing, graphical, numerical, symbol, verbal. I feel like I'm just blabbing because it's been so long since I studied this stuff. Uh, domain and range, evaluation of functions, algebra of functions, graphs and their properties, um, intercepts, okay, intercept symmetry, transformations, inverse functions. So I'm sure that sounds familiar to you algebra heads out there. And um, if you like me, if, I'm, if you're listening to this video and you're going, what the fuck is he talking about? Then you're one of those people who I was saying, like, I would not recommend taking this exam unless you want to get a 25 like me. Don't do it. Uh, so another 20% of the exam was um, number systems and operations. Real numbers, complex numbers, sequence and series, factorial, factorials, and uh, binomial theorem. Woo! Shit. All right. Let's get into some notes. So check this out. You're going to get a lot of questions. Uh, sorry, guys. You're going to get a lot of questions like this, right? So if you got a pen, um, I would recommend you go grab one real quick. Or if you got something to write down, or if you got a good memory, whatever. Uh, just, you know, go back and replay it, all right? And then listen to what I'm saying. So you'll get something like this, all right? Um, and, I, and this is actually... Uh, I hope I don't get in trouble for this again. Me and this photographic memory of mine. This is actually one of the questions uh, of the uh, on the exam that I remember specifically. I'm not going to give you the answers, all right, because that's not what I'm here for. But I will give you the question. So it was like, which of the following equals? And then they would present you the equation, right? And then the answers were, uh, it was it looks like square roots of uh, different numbers. So which of the following equals, and then it'll the, the equation will be, excuse me, I'm sorry guys, um, 24, the square root of 24 plus the square root of 25 minus the square root of 54, and then you have different answers. So there's five choices, and you got, uh, you know, different answers, right? So basically, Using just my common sense, you have to solve the equation of the square root of 24 plus the square root of 25 minus the square root of 54 to get the answer and then you select whichever it equals, right? There were a lot of questions like that, okay? I'm not trying to break down the equation. I'm just trying to tell you that there were a lot of those kind of questions. So familiarize yourself with those, um, those problems, right? And here, I'll show you exactly what it looks like. All right. So something like that, right? The square root of, where am I at? 24. Wait, I'm sorry, guys. Here we go. <laughs> my, my handwriting is horrible, too. But look, it was something like that, okay? And then it was, uh, which of the following is equivalent to, and then another one that I remember was, uh, 3k to the second power plus 8k plus 4 right and then there was like a bunch of different equations and you basically had to figure out so you get what I, I, I hope you can get where I'm going with this stuff right like you gotta know this shit cause you see how I'm sitting up here like and then I think it did it was uh, the, 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 the. I feel like I feel like a dumbass up here but again you guys are going to do better than me, right? Because you guys are better than me, right? So that's the whole point of this video. The whole, the whole point of this video is to boost your confidence. If you had any inhibitions about this exam, I'm trying to boost your confidence. You see me, I, I wasn't expecting to pass this exam, right? I was, what I, the one thing that I wanted to do with this exam is take it to get as much information as possible to pass it on to you. So you can go in and I can live vicariously through you when you pass the exam. All right. So um, you're going to get a lot of questions like that. I showed you the graph already. Um, I hope go back and watch that. Look at that again, because there were a lot of questions like that. Um, there were a lot of questions like this right here. If X 
is greater than zero and y is greater than zero, which is equivalent to two, and it was log x minus log y. All right. So I'll repeat that. If x is greater than zero and y is greater than zero, which is equivalent to two log x minus log y. And then again, it would present you with different answers and equations and you had to solve the problem and you know figure out which was which. All right, so I'm not even sure what category those type of questions fall under. Sorry guys, but I know they're in the exam. All right. There were a lot of word problems too. I would say they were probably a good. Hmm. There were a lot of word problems. <laughs> well, it doesn't seem like it was a lot of word problems. So word problems, you're gonna get something like uh uh what was it? It was um I, think I wrote down some really scratchy notes, but it was about the bro the word problem was about. A car renting a car so it was like for renting uh, each car company a charges a flat rate of $35 per day company B charges $35 um, $35 uh, plus hat like I didn't get all the whole notes but I hope you get where I'm going basically it was like company a company B company a charges one amount company B charges another amount and then just get ready for word problems all right guys um, if you're finding this video valuable that's great if you're watching this video and you're going what the fuck is this guy talking about I assure you that this is this subject is probably the only subject where I'm gonna be looking all like ooh, the the um, all of the other videos, like, I had somewhat of a background, background, a foundation in it. And um, the concepts were obviously a lot easier for me to understand. But math is just my toughest subject. So um, I'm not going to keep harping on about that. I've already gone, what, 17 minutes into this. So um, if you found value in this, that's really great, guys. Um, I'm definitely going to be creating a study guide uh, for this subject. For myself um, and for others out there so if you again found this video valuable please like it um, please subscribe to Clep guinea pig because I'm going to be taking all of the Clep exams every single last one of them so you might you know if this is not your exam there's probably going to be one that you want you want to you know know about and I'm definitely going to take it um, you can also email me at ask at klepguineapig.com um, shoot me an email and if you want some more information um, then you can shoot me a text message as well uh, Mark West 619-432-5947 shoot me a text message I will be happy to discuss whatever it is you want to discuss you got a question about the exam Maybe something that I didn't cover, cause you know I'm not. I don't, again, I don't want to harp on, um, you know, bore you guys to death. But please hit me up uh, again. I'm at. Uh, you can also go to www.www.clepguineapig.com. All the links that everything, all the information is uh, in the comments box and down below. So hit me up, guys, um, and then. Uh, all of the, the, the texts that I've been getting and the emails that I've been getting, I really appreciate it. I'm glad that you guys are finding this stuff valuable. Um, I really am, you know, and my whole goal is to just, is to help you guys, seriously. Uh, so yeah, uh, tune in next time. All right. You guys take care.